Hello folks, welcome back. So today uh, we're going to do a video that's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you how the electrical distribution uh, system in a mobile home park works. And, uh, you know, sometimes we take for uh, granted, you know, how we get our, our power and, you know, our other utilities like our water and stuff. You know, we just flip the switch on and the light comes on or, you know, we turn our range on and, you know, it just fires up and we don't really give much thought to, you know, where does that power come from that powers those things. So today I'm going to show you how it works in our park. And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty similar, you know, through most parks. But uh, the uh, power comes into a development or a park like this one uh, by various means. Uh, our hydro, our, our electricity here is generated by uh, hydroelectric. And so our, uh, our, our hydro comes from, uh, you know, high tension wires from a dam uh, out on the Columbia River and uh, it travels uh, through the mountains and gets to us here in the uh, Okanagan Valley. Once it arrives uh, in the valley here then by overhead lines you know and then it goes to substations and then from the substation uh, it's distributed to the different places. Um, it comes into the park here uh, underground and so you know when uh, we look up and down the street here you know we don't see any overhead lines. Um, you know, everything is underground and so it's buried you know in the street or somewhere along here and it comes to a transformer so it comes into the park as a high voltage um, you know, high voltage and then that has to be uh, stepped down to make it usable in in our homes and so uh, you know this particular thing here is a transformer and this is what it transforms it to a, a lower voltage and uh, you can see there that uh, you know it's underground cables and so from this particular transformer uh, it goes underground to uh, a meter house and throughout the mobile home park you'll see uh, you know typically there's a bunch of these uh, meters meter houses uh, in a mobile home park the meter isn't on your uh, on your unit it's uh, everything is put into these meter houses and in this particular one we have uh, 12 meters okay and uh, so there, there's a main disconnect so we're number 98 that's us there that's our meter and there that's a main disconnect switch and there that's a 100 amp breaker so that tells us that we have a 100 amp service and so from that transformer out there in the street that I just showed you, the wire comes in through this, this big pipe down at the bottom, comes through the ground, and then it goes into a, a disconnect panel here. So this is a main disconnect for the whole set of meters here. So if they wanted to you know, close this meter uh, down, this whole set of meters down, they would just flip this switch here. Now uh, they also have a panel up here and what that is for is uh, for street lighting so they take the street lighting out of here so this is a pretty old uh, meter shed here it's uh, yeah it's kind of run down and uh, they've got a uh, supposed to be a lock on here but uh, the squatter that was here actually uh, she broke this lock and she uh, got in there to try and turn the hydro on in the in the uh, in our home here so that she could have some some heat and stuff but uh, so this actually uh, should be should be repaired by the park this is the park's responsibility so from that meter it then goes underground so it'll be running underground here and it goes to a pedestal that's underneath the home I'll just take you around here and show you that. So up to and including the pedestal, uh, it all belongs to the park. Okay, so this is the pedestal here. And it is all the, the, it's all the park's responsibility. 
So in that gray box there, uh, there's a uh, there's another disconnect in there. Uh, that box opens up. I'm not going to open it up because you can see it's kind of rusty there. Um, I don't want to mess with it. And then from out of that box, you can see this thick black wire. Okay, it runs along here. That runs all the way back to the um, to our, to our uh, panel box inside the home. Uh, this is also the point where the telecommunication telecommunication wires come in. So our uh, we ha here we have uh, two providers for telecommunications. We have uh, Shaw and we have Telus, and so um, Telus has got uh, fiber optic installed here. And then we have the Shaw, which is a typical coaxial. You can also see the white pipe there coming out of the ground. And so that white pipe is the water main. That's where it get, uh, gets attached, uh, where we attach, you know, the, the mobile homes water system to the parks water system is down there in that box. And so here is where we attach the electrical and telecommunications to the parks uh, infrastructure. Okay, so from the disconnect box this way, that's all our responsibility and anything going the other way is uh, belongs to the park and they're responsible for that. So I'll just crawl out of here now. I'll just take you back here. And somewhere under here, yes, right there. You can see there's the uh, that loop going into the gray pipe, and that gray pipe goes up into the panel box inside of the inside of the home. All right, now I'll just take you inside, show you where that comes up inside the home. Okay, so that pedestal that I just showed you is basically underneath the floor here somewhere. And uh, then that black cable runs underneath the home, under the floor. And it comes back to this point here, where it comes out of the floor here. Right here, this is it. And then so inside of this, this gray pipe here, not this one, this is a water pipe. This pipe here is that black electrical uh, cord that you saw the thick one and then that goes into the electrical panel and then of course here we have all of our breakers and then we have our wires that distribute the power to the uh, various places in the home uh, your plugs and switches and all of that so I just thought you might be interested in that and uh, just kind of wondering like where your power comes from some people don't uh, don't really know where it, where it actually comes from and that's how it works. Thanks for watching folks. Bye bye.